Oh, this ten dollars for filet mignon? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. You don't want chicken hearts? These huge artichokes. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my broth, y'all. Let me show y'all how it's looking. It's nice and thick. Yeah. Now at Golden Corral. What's up, Elliot family of Seven Plus the Fire Squad? Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe because why? Because we coming with that fire content every single day. Hey, hey where we at? Y'all, today, 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 we are at okay. the Butcher's Farmer's Market. We about to come up in here and get some more of that fresh meat. food. That yes. Fresh meat, fresh veggies, fresh everything. everything. Yeah, look at Faith, by the way. So cute. Look at that cutie with her mask. Yeah. You ready, Kendrick? They just woke up. Let's get in here, y'all. You cutie. <laughs> We're in the market, the Butcher's Farmer Market. Look at you. First thing you see is cotton candy. We're here in a butcher shop, and that's what you want. What's up, Shawnee? It smells like fish in here. It smells like fish in here? Nah, they're cutting up fresh meat in the back. Look at these cool drinks they have. Those are like all natural juices, so that's cool. Let's see what the butcher has for us today, y'all. This is something, and what is this, chicharrones? Yeah, it says Viva Chicharron, fried pork skins, 4.43. You think you can eat those? No, these are hard. I like the softer pork rinds. Comment down below, do you like the hard pork rinds or the soft one? We love the chorizo here. We're gonna get one for my father-in-law and also one for us. But their chorizo, it's enough for two breakfasts, y'all, and it is delicious here. Three forty-nine a pound. We're gonna get one for your dad, too. Here you go. Sean Cena tilapia. <laughs> 476 for their tilapia. This looks good too. I'm gonna get this. Country breakfast, already ground up meat right here. This 449, that'll be good too. I got this country breakfast. What do you think about it? Look how it has all of the seasonings in it. You know, make burritos, just mix it up, put the eggs in. Oh, you feel funny? <laughs> you funny. Look at this chart right here where you get everything. Isn't this cool, y'all? So short loan T-bone steak. T I say T-bone. It's right here. Look at this, y'all. So I never seen the pickled pork rinds, cooked and packed in vinegar. This is my first time seeing that. That is really cool. It's pickled. It's pork rinds. Though. Cash, what'd you grab? What's in your hand? Put your mask on. Put your mask on. What's in your hand? Oh Lord, cotton candy. What I like about it here is how they show you how to make the pot roast, quick serve beef how to cook it here they have the premium oven roast what to do with it man i really like this look at this only two dollars and 82 cent you can go ahead and get a round steak <laughs> little pieces and then here's some sirloin tri-tip and it's 9.65 you get that amount and that's one pound and 38 cents what else they got what do you get in a pot roast yeah yeah go ahead and get that that'll be good I need a which one are you getting this is the... Oh, that's the prime? And it's Angus. Oh, and it's uh, 15 bucks for... This is the Instapot. Instapot? Looks good for a dinner, y'all. Look at that. It says it has the piccata spices and vegetables, which are your ground beef in there. No, that's actually steak, not ground beef. Rump roast, Midwestern beef. This one, it says with a timer. So it has the timer. It's $13.96, and that's 2.3 pounds. Oxtails, they're... This one is $15. Whoa, that's not cheap. But the Bones Knuckle is $2.34 for $1.85. I've never had um, knuckles, y'all. i never had knuckles. I don't know. Oh, you getting that for Aaliyah? Yeah. To cook her school lunch or just to cook at home? Just to cook at home. Oh, what is this? Pork Royale? i never heard of that. Boneless Pork Royale with pop-up timer. It's a Midwestern pork and it's $6.71. It's wrapped up too. So this is like a roast, I think. They even have chorizo made out of turkey in here. That is cool. It's only $3.30. Look at the cuts of short ribs right here. $9.71 for a pound. That's expensive actually, you know? And then they have baby bag ribs sliced for $7.30. I think it costs more because they're cut for you, you know? And the filet mignon. Filet mignon? Oh, this is $10 for filet mignon? Yeah. Oh yeah. With the bacon without. Yeah, we definitely can get that. You say, where's the chicken? It's right here. Here you go. Oh, no. You don't want chicken hearts? Really ain't no. You want chicken hearts? <laughs> Why is he staring? <laughs> but y'all, he literally staring like, are you serious? Here's the chicken, the best deal on chicken in town. $2.60 for all this chicken right here. There you go. These drumsticks are a good price, and these are big ones. That's $5. Last time we came here, we got this lemon ice loaf cake made here locally in Arizona. And it was 
the best lemon ice loaf cake I ever had. Look at that. I'm getting it again. Sean, look at this. Go ahead and put that in the basket. Hey, baby. They also have banana walnut. I haven't tried that yet. And we tried this salsa last time. It was so spicy, but so good. They have a green one. They have a super hot salsa. Yeah. See, that don't look like a dipping. That looks like something you pour, you know? Yeah. But this one, is this chunky too? No. No. He would, he would like the chunks, right? Yeah. For your dad. And then I, I feel like trying the green one, the salsa verde. These are made in Arizona, y'all. Oh, there we go. This is Arizona made. Yeah, let's try their brand right here of their rice. We'll try that. Look at this special one here. Two for five on what? On bronze burger? What is this? What is this right here, y'all? Comment down below. What is this? Bronze burger, babe? What is this stuff? Have, what in the world are you doing with that? That thing half your size, man. Look at you. Oh, my goodness. That's huge. You said it's how much? Um, nine, nine, nine really look at these huge artichokes oh babe artichoke would you eat it oh yeah she don't like artichoke y'all oh they're 2.99 for those broccoli she loves broccoli y'all look at her dancing to it she's like give me some give me some look at her it's 1.99 a pound for their broccoli but all of this vegetables here are grown in arizona got the celery the fresh parsley grown here in arizona all of that red leaf lettuce I think this is like really good on sandwiches. Sam I said sandwiches. Sandwiches. All these bananas are green. I don't know. Do y'all agree? When you see a green banana, is it a little irritating? Meaning like, you know darn well, it's going to take forever to turn yellow. Babe, don't it take forever for green bananas to turn yellow? Yeah. Forever. Yeah. Oh, two for a dollar for avocados. Babe, avocados, two for a dollar. A different squash. A variety look at that i've never seen a squash look like that what in the world they call it a hubert squash that's what it says look 99 cent a pound that's not bad what are you doing look it i know mixed nuts different types those are 3.99 a pound for all those different types of nuts they make all of their seasonings in-house and i was said that if i come back i'm gonna try something different they have this prime rib rub and this old Canadian chicken rub and steak rub. I'm gonna get the steak one. $5.99. Babe, she's turning up. Here you go. It's cool. Look at the old school bottles of soda. The 7 Up and it's Sprite. This is our meat we got from the meat market. We're gonna go ahead and make some pot roast. It's our first time using our instant pot. This is like a pressure cooker. And y'all, I have not used one of these before. I don't know what I'm doing but I'm just gonna roll with it. It say meat, so I'm gonna push meat. It say stew, maybe I should push that. I don't have no idea, y'all. All right, we'll see, I'm gonna figure this out. So y'all, I'm getting the seasoning up on this side and I'm just rubbing it in. Look at Kendrick. You ready to eat some pot roast? Mm. <laughs> in the Instant Pot, and I would go ahead and turn it on the uh, stew one. It says 40 minutes. That seems like that's not enough time to cook this meat. <laughs> But I guess so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put in my broth, y'all. There's my broth. And I'm gonna cut up these potatoes right here. And then we got baby carrots. Got that. And I have some thyme here that's dry. I'm gonna put some thyme in there. I'm really excited for this because you're supposed to be able to taste the difference in the meat when you get it local and they don't have those preservatives to ship it across the country or wherever. So this is supposed to be the best, so we'll see. All right, the potatoes are in there, y'all. And I want to try out, well, my mom suggested we try this Lipton and it's beef and onion soup mix. I feel like it's cheating, but I'm gonna put it in there. And then I feel like I'm cheating with this brown gravy, but whatever, whatever. But to be real, I'm a little nervous to use this Instapot because I hear like a lot of bad things about the Instapot, like it exploding and stuff. And any advice y'all like am i supposed to open this from a distance or what like i don't want to burn myself like oh shoot i'm talking negative but you know what i'm saying put it on now here's the pressure level um i guess high because that's a short amount of time i'm not sure about that i think i think when it's high pressure it you know it just makes sense that it would cook more stronger it has all of this so yeah let's go ahead and see how it comes out y'all it's done Woo -woo. Yes. Let me show y'all how it's looking. It's nice and thick because I added a cornstarch slurry, which is just cornstarch and water mixed up and you add it in there, but it looks good. Look at that. These are the baby's plates. They're going to go ahead and get some of that. Baby, 
You look tired. Are you ready to try this to see if the quality of meat's better from a local market? Yes, I am. All right, let's see, babe. Which one am I trying? Um, pick the one that um looked like somebody's finger was in it. What? They're my kids anyway, so. Hmm. <laughs> so I could do that. Yeah, you could do All that. Right, so the meat. Mm-hmm. All right. Ooh. Do you taste? Does the meat? All right, let's be real. When you use an Instapot, depending on a setting you choose, mm -hmm. you got to let it cook longer than what they say. Because yeah. I put 40 minutes and it didn't, you know how like you it fall apart? It Some do people that. don't like, comment down below, do you like your pot roast meat to like fall apart or you want like a, like like a the, soft piece or a harder piece? What do you want? You know what? I like it to like kind of fall apart. I don't want it like completely all the way shredded. But I noticed in restaurants, they don't really... They give you big pieces, but it still kind of shreds right. when you get your serving. When I cooked it longer, lightly firm now. Yeah. Like it still falls apart as you as you chew Light, it. Like, yeah. yeah, it's not hard to, it falls apart. Mm -hmm. Hey Cash, <laughs> you gonna try it too, Cash? Here Cash. This meat, as you know, is from the local farmer's market and uh, it's different. Let's see, Cash. Hey. hey. Is it good? Daddy did his thing. Are you glad daddy made it instead of mom? Bell to the now. Um, answer that carefully. Yeah, let's see. What no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just I want playing. my kids to be honest. Babe, I'll be, I'll be joking around with K-Money. Yeah, and when you marry y'all, uh, you, you don't take stuff personal. You, yeah. well, especially like if it's a, a joke. Little, just a little bit more seasoning. Just a little bit more seasoning. See, that seasoning salt. Seasoning salt. Hey. You I could guarantee good. you, you didn't put seasoning salt in this. Guess what? I sprinkled a little bit just for you. You need to make it rain. No, nah, no, nah, I ain't making no seasoning <laughs> salt rain. So it's definitely good. The quality of the meat, mm -hmm. very good. Very good. Very like, good. Nothing about it. Here, Cash wants another. Even bite. though it was cut and it didn't shred apart, it still melts in your mouth. Ain't that something? And it's prime. And it's prime meat. So good I did job. a good job, kiss yes. on the cheek. Good, good job. job. A round of applause. I kissed your nose. Hey, All right. So we're at my father-in-law's house, right? Ice cream truck comes roaring around the corner. You know, dee -dee 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 -dee. the kids want it because they love the sound. I get them ice cream and guess what was three dollars? That was three dollars. And then hers was three dollars. So I, what is that? Six dollars for one. I know, I know. And and, and y'all better eat it all. That's three dollars right there. <laughs> I shouldn't be telling my kids prices and stuff I get for them. That's not cool. We are on the road, just driving through Arizona. We love it here, we love the view. As you can see, look at these mountains. And they are knocked out. Look, Faith covered her face. I'm right here. Deshaun's right there, Aaliyah covered her face. Kendrick is knocked. Let me make sure this vent's closed, you know. And K-Money is focusing because this diesel while we were driving went halfway in the, in the other lane. So we gotta be very careful. He's up he there. He already cut everybody off. Yeah, he did, huh? And then he went like on the median, on the side of the road. So, and he keeps swerving. Yeah. Somebody needs to take a nap. Yep. Instead of being on the road. Comment down below, how often do you see like 16 wheeler drivers Look, look swerving? at the traffic. We went in front of everybody. There's the traffic. I, I think it's common. I think it's common for the ones that stay up all night and keep driving the next day, right? Isn't I that... think there's some new laws where they ha can only drive a certain amount of hours and then they have to pull over and go to sleep. So he's probably trying to push it, gun it to the next rest stop, rest stop or something. Yeah. Now at Golden Corral, Mama got salad. She got variety. Ooh, it's healthy. Yeah, they have slushies here. It's shocking. Look at this guy. Look at me. Aaliyah, what you got? Look at me. Just trying out new stuff. Oh, you're doing variety? Yeah, I'm just trying to see. Hey, y'all. Faith said, look at me. We looking at you. Wash your hands. Hurry up, man. You rub your hand 20 times? Yeah? All right. It's a sensor. He's like, how do I get this on? More. Go. Oh. <laughs> he keeps missing it. Went to Willy Wonka. Let me see. What Willy Wonka give you today? <laughs> what he give you for? You got some gummy bears, the ice cream. Going crazy. Oh my gosh. She didn't really eat, but when it comes to sweets, she tears it up. Look at Kendrick. What are you doing? 
Ryan is coming off the table. Get on. Throw it away now. Mm -hmm. Mama is frying up these eggs. Yeah. I cook the tater tots. I made. You made tater tots? Yeah. Where are they? What else you make? I made this. Oh, that's why it's really dark. <laughs> I'm just, babe, you heard me with my joke on him. I apologize, Sean. Thank oh, you for making that. Are, you know I joke with you. Those are wheat toast. Oh, they're wheat. Oh, yeah. look at me. That's what I get, huh? Yeah. Good job, man. And then I made bacon. Panady, he made that too? Yeah. And then I made these. Oh, shoot. Can I, can I bite one? Babe, how can we be making breakfast in the afternoon almost? Because I was waiting for Cash to wake up. Oh, well, that's yeah, nice. I kept begging her. Are we gonna do this? Quick, I want to say this, and you know it ain't just for camera. I love you. You're beautiful. Thank you. Do I say this only on camera? No. Cause I, th I feel like sometimes people are like, here you go, on camera saying it. No, I literally <laughs> say Always she's say beautiful. Thank you. Cause she is. Out and about for lunch, y'all, and we ended up using. Dang boy, you ever see like a lion eating his meal and he like this? That's how Sean was just looking at, looking at y'all. <laughs> he laughed all big. You funny, Sean. We went to Dickies, y'all, because we have something special. It's be a guest, get a free classic sandwich, and they literally let us pick any sandwich. And I didn't know that because I would have picked the turkey one. But yeah, if you have a Dickies where you are, comment down below if you do.